Hi. Today we're going to continue to read Nancy Clancy's book 2. Chapter 3. The best baby sister in the universe. On Saturday night, as soon as Bree's little brother Freddy fell was asleep, Nancy and Bree had Annie all to themselves. Annie was the ba best baby sister in the universe. And let Nancy and Bree style her hair. It was so long she could sit on it. Annie gave almost perfect manicures. The polish never smoothed. And then he knew all the words to worlds of songs. Right now they were all dancing to a hip hop song. And he had awesome moves. Oh, that was superb, Nancy said. Do it again. And he spun around, spun it short, stopped short, and did a hip hop hop with a kick while her arms moved up and down like a rowboat. When the song was over, they all clawed up under the sofa. Nancy was perspiring. Perspiring was sounded more grown up than sweating. She was also breathing hard. I mean, my heart is beating 500 times a minute, she said. No, that's impossible, Bree said. Then she told Danny what they had learned about the heart. Humming birds, heart beat. Yeah, the thousand has a minute, but not human being hard. I don't think uh, that Nancy was being literal. And he said to Bree, she explained that literal means sticking to facts. That was another great thing about Annie. She knew a ton of fancy words. And not at 9.30, Annie said, it's your bedtime. And I have to start studying for my French test. Bree pooched out her lips. But we didn't get to look through fashion magazines. Okay. We you we can. But after your teeth are brushed and you're both in your pajamas. Deal Nancy and Bree sat together. A few minutes later the trundle under Bree's bed had been pulled out. And he sat between Nan Bree and Nancy. Slowly they leafed through every page of Glamour Girl, deciding which outfits were chic. Annie said chic was French for cool. Annie said like this, chic. On page 156 was a quiz. Is your boyfriend right for you? There was a photo of a girl staring at a boy. Over his head was a big question mark. Oh, can we give you the quiz? Brie asked. Then... You'll know if Dan is right for you. Dan was Annie's boyfriend. I don't need to take the quiz. I already know the answer, Annie said. Oh, that's so romantic, Nancy clasped her hands together. You're we madly in love with Dan. But Annie was shaking her head. Her head. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, uh, then I broke up. He definitely wasn't right for me. What went wrong? Bri asked. You loved his dimples and his laugh, remember? Yeah, I guess. Any clothes for a magazine? Maybe the problem was that he was too nice. Being nice was a problem? Nancy said. I don't understand. And he should the magazine. Oh, on, oh, what I never wanted, ever I wanted to do was always fun of him. Whatever I said, he agreed with. I got boring. Then Annie climbed over Nancy and blew the girls a kiss. As she turned off the light, she said, I have a date with my French book. So, bonne nuit. In French, that means good night. Annie said like this, Bonne ne nuit. Oui. Bonne nuit. It was, I wish Annie had a real day tonight. Nancy whispered in the dark. Then she couldn't have come to babysit. Bri pointed out. Yeah, that was true. But Bri was being too. What does that word Annie had used? Too literal. Bye.